A heart attack happens when blood flow to part of the heart muscle is blocked. The blockage harms part of the heart muscle because it is no longer getting oxygen from the blood. Most heart attacks are caused by a blood clot that blocks one of the coronary arteries. Occasionally, a heart attack can be caused by a spasm or tightening of a coronary artery. Coronary arteries are the blood vessels that supply oxygen-rich blood to the heart muscle. In coronary artery disease, the inside of the coronary arteries narrow and harden because of the buildup of fatty material called plaque. Blood flow to the heart muscle is decreased. If the plaque cracks or breaks open, a blood clot can form on the surface of the plaque. The clot, also called a thrombus, can completely block blood flow in the artery. Once the flow of blood is blocked, a heart attack will happen when a part of the heart muscle becomes damaged. The heart may not be able to pump blood throughout the body very well. This can cause chest, arm, back or jaw discomfort or pain, shortness of breath, or other symptoms. After a heart attack, if the blockage is not treated and removed within a few hours, the damaged heart muscle will begin to die and be replaced by scar tissue. This heart damage may not be obvious or may cause severe and long-lasting symptoms because the heart cannot pump blood well. Another less common cause of a heart attack is a severe spasm or tightening of a coronary artery that cuts off blood flow to the heart muscle. Spasms can occur in people with or without coronary artery disease. Just as clots may do, spasms can completely block blood flow in the artery. Once the flow of blood is blocked, a heart attack will happen when a part of the heart muscle becomes damaged. The heart may not be able to pump blood throughout the body very well. This can cause chest, arm, back or jaw discomfort or pain, shortness of breath, or other symptoms. After a heart attack, if the blockage is not treated and removed within a few hours, the damaged heart muscle will begin to die and be replaced by scar tissue. This heart damage may not be obvious or may cause severe and long-lasting symptoms because the heart cannot pump blood well.